Hello. Tonight is showing you we've got a new table. Um, I'm just going to quickly mention a, a few of the MTP camouflage um, pouches that we have. Um, we have lots of pouches from lots of different countries, but clearly we have a lot of British ones, and a lot of the DPM and a lot of the MTP camouflage ones. And here are some, probably most of the MTP camouflage ones we stock. So if you're needing something for your field kit, you know, if you're paintballing, softball, all that kind of gear, and you, you kind of wearing what you use, this sort of stuff, we might have some pouches that can be helpful to you. Um, that can be useful for other things as well. Um, this is a, it's kind of a standard sort of one. It's a small for a 9mm magazine pouch, but it's quite useful for a pen knife as well. So I keep my pen knife in one of those. The one I've got fits in it nicely, obviously, of course. Um, so you can use them for other things as well. So say, this is kind of the standard range that, that we keep. Um, we've got the SA-80 or the, the, the rifle magazine pouches, single and double mag ones. All of this stuff has the same fixings on the rear. So I've kind of got the molly fixing that's going to fit to your Osprey. Obviously these can just be used to go over to over a wide belt if you just want to um, use it with a wide belt. Nearly all the pouches, well all the leaf pouches, open up with some Velcro. So simple Velcro fixing, very quick to open up if you need to get the contents out in a hurry. Other ones we've got, the um, smaller size pouches here. This one is for a smoke grenade, this one's for a frag grenade. Um, do you use them in softball? And I, I, I don't know. I don't do air soft and, and, and all that kind of stuff. But you know, I'm sure there's other things you can put in them as well. And some of the more popular pouches, ones that people uh, we, we certainly seem to sell a few more of these are the larger ones. You can't always get hold of these. They always go very quickly when we've got them. There are three pouches. They all look very similar. There's, there's not an awful lot of difference in them. Um, there's a utility pouch, uh, a UGL unlisted grenade launcher pouch. Have I got that the right way around? And a light machine gun ammunition pouch. There's a canteen pouch as well. We haven't got any of those at the moment. Um, the uh, UGL pouch here does take a standard uh, 58 pattern water bottle. So we do often send water bottles out in these. It says it on our listings because the, can the specific canteen ones seem very, very difficult to get hold of or they're, they're just less common. Um, but they fit very nicely in these. The UGL pouch itself has a little divider in there. Hopefully you can see that. So the pouch can be divided uh, into two if you need. It is, it is Velcro, so obviously that just on Velcro to make that um, a larger pouch. And these larger pouches don't have Velcro, they have a little quick release buckle on there. So again, opening that up. has some Velcro as well, but it's mainly held closed by that uh, quick release buckle. The um, LMG one, Again, that's a, a standard pouch. It is just a pouch, it's empty, it doesn't have any additional features, certainly not that I can see about it. And our least popular one, which always surprises me, is the utility pouch. We always have these in stock, we very rarely sell out of these. And to me, uh, again, I, I don't do that in the field an awful lot, they, they would seem more useful. The utility pouch is a fraction smaller than the UGL one, your canteen bottle won't fit in there readily. But it does have a nice internal, I presume it's waterproof, pocket in there. So you've got some extra fixing, so there's a little drawstring around the top. So you can seal the contents up a little bit more securely in that. And then again, you've got the normal cover, a bit of Velcro, and a quick release buckle on there. So if you're looking for an MTP camouflage original British Army surplus issued pouch, this might be the one for you.